I'm just stopping Leo's and so it's been <sighs> great adventure eight years and 14 years of collection but now even with lots of money I can't rebuild that and just not possible Republic Attack is a hobby channel that's all about the Legos. Starting his YouTube channel on the 25th of April 2010, he was a kid who simply just wanted to share his hobby to the world. Donc là, il y a des caisses de munitions en avant. Un petit poste de contrôle. And I decide to make uh, the freaking do so. Cody, Apple, and Bly. Considering all I can do with my Legos is make cursed bionicles, what he has to share is nothing but impressive. The achievements of both this kid and the outstanding projects shared within this community are something to marvel at. Personally, I'm a big fan of it. I got Baby Yoda here, in my eyes he's still relevant, and I've got Donald Duck with a gun. But on the 5th of October 2018, this kid, now turned adult, posted a video that would shock not only the LEGO community, but would break the hearts of many others. The video was titled, Bye, and would show Louis in distress, as he explains how his house was broken into. What was strange about this is that the burglars didn't take anything else of a higher perceived value, such as his MacBook and TV, but instead they stole $18,000 worth of his Lego. Now this wasn't just Lego kits you can buy back from the store. There was a project that he's been working on called Infiltration since 2010. This was a massive project with thousands of pieces, something that would have taken a lot of planning and a lot of trial and error. But unfortunately, they broke it and stole many pieces from it. What was taken from Louis wasn't just Lego. It was what he was truly passionate about and projects that hold a lot of history and sentimental value. Unfortunately, on this day, this was the end for Republic Attack, as Louis announces the end of his channel. It really was my passion, in fact, it was a part of me because, like, when I walk and I come back the weekend, I just for relaxing, Legos, you know, and just when I'm gone for traveling and what I'm thinking about, I'm for leisure and trying to relax, I'm thinking about my Lego projects, and gone. So next week, I have to go again. So yeah, so thank you for following me for those eight years and bye. Well, I'm wishing you the best with your Legos and just be careful uh, because there are some bastards out there. And so goodbye. If you shed a tear whilst watching this, I don't blame you. But if you know anything about the internet, news like this spreads quick. So quick, in fact, that a fellow member from the LEGO community, Ryan, with the channel Mandar Productions, picked up on this with a response. So something absolutely terrible happened yesterday. I was scrolling through my sub feed and I see a video from someone who doesn't upload all that often in Republic Attack. He usually makes LEGO Star Wars mocks. They're really awesome. I've been subscribed to him for a long time. And I see this video and it just says bye. And it's got a picture of him in the thumbnail and he's crying, or it, like, it looks like he's crying, I suppose. And I'm like, I have to click the video, right? It's not even clickbait, I just have to click it. Like, it's one of those type of videos and I, I click it and I'm looking at it and I'm like, just, I'm just like, damn. I'm like, this is awful. Ryan went a step further and actually got in touch with Louis to assess the damages in a bit more detail. This right here is a spreadsheet of all the things that were lost. If you know anything about Lego, you know it's bloody expensive. This ATAT, for example, 699 pounds. I would be devastated if I had that nicked. However, one Lego build was spared called the UCS Imperial Shuttle, which is apparently one of the best sets out there, according to both Louis and Ryan. Now, this video isn't all doom and gloom because Ryan actually went out of his way to set up a GoFundMe to support Louis and help him to recoup some of the lost Lego. This was probably one of the most heartwarming parts about this because in only two days, the GoFundMe made over $18,000 with over 960 donations. Republic Attack was never monetized. This was just a wholesome channel for a kid now adult, sharing their passion with the world. In the updates of the GoFundMe, you can see this message right here, which really says a lot about Louis's character. Republic Attack is very grateful to everyone who has donated. He has decided to end donations because it's already close to what he lost and way more than what he ever could have expected and doesn't want that much publicity from this, although it's a little bit too late. Louis didn't ask for this, but the community saw that it was the right thing to do to help this man through a tough time. Now it's 
important to say that this wasn't just the efforts from Mandar Productions, but also Reddit and other channels outside of the community that raised awareness for this. On the 20th of October 2018, Louis came back with a thank you message, and you can really hear in his voice how much this means to him. I just don't have the words to express myself uh, on this, but I just want to say that I am really thankful um, for all the very kind gesture and comments I got from many people, not just from the LEGO community, but even people that I didn't know about before, that didn't knew about me before, and it's just like really impressive uh, how many supports I got. Uh, so I am really thankful uh, for you because you just gave me the energy to move forward. One of the sweetest things about this guy is that even in Ryan's video, he wanted to make it very clear that if you weren't over 22 uh, to not donate and just don't donate if you don't have the money for it. So as you can hear in his voice, a lot of this is a surprise to him. People came together and they gave this guy back what he lost or at least part of it. But there's something in this video that really stood out to me and here it is. One of the things which really helped me is that one of common, many comments told me like, yeah, okay, they told you lots of Legos which have big sentimental value to you because you use them when you were when you were a kid, etc. You, you pass thousands of hours with them, but they can steal you your memories and souvenir you have with those. I got multiple comments like this and it just really helped me to, to move forward and you gave me the energy to move forward. This is a really great point in this video where although the physical items were taken from him, they still can't take the memory and the joy that he gained from it. And I think that can apply to a lot of things. As we already know, a lot of this happened a few years ago, but I think it's very important when you look at internet history to not just look at what happened, but to see where they are today. And I'm pleased to say that our boy Louis is loving life and sharing his passion with the world. I don't understand. What have I done? I, I literally didn't change anything and it's now working. I'm not imagining. This guy is just full of joy. He absolutely loves what he's doing. And it's really nice just to see him back at it again. But my favorite moment is when he loses his shit with a baguette. It's funny because he's also French. Anyway, Louis is in a much better place now. He's got insurance for his Lego sets. He's moved house and set up some extra security. But seriously, I hope those people that stole his Legos step on an extra sharp brick because you have to be one hell of a low life to try and bring this guy down. This wasn't meant to be an entirely depressing video. I know it started off like that, but this is a story that stuck with me for quite a while and, and I really wanted to see how this guy was getting on. He doesn't post all too frequently because again, this is still a hobby for him. But it's really amazing to see how this guy has just grown over the years, how he overcame this tragic moment in his life. And that although we see a lot of negative stuff online all the time, it doesn't always have to be like that. And people can come together and help each other out. But that's all I have for today. See you guys in the next one. And try not to get too wasted on New Year's Eve. Goodbye.